Are you ready? everybody Michael here so this is going to be a pretty short video if you guys can hear in the background they're running dogs today so I'm sorry if you can hear any of that uh, but it sounds like they're having some fun so anyway this video is going to be relatively short we're going to be showing you guys uh, how to candle some eggs uh, we do things just a little bit different when it comes to that uh, we're also going to try to show you some embryos moving around inside the egg and try to identify some parts inside the eggshell to help you out when you're doing this Again, like I said, this is probably going to be pretty short. There's a whole bunch of different types of eggs um, <clears throat> that you'll get or what we call effects of each egg that you get. When you candle eggs, we're going to try to show you or help you identify what we call the in-betweens, the yokers, the dead ones. People have all kind of nicknames for them. Ringers, winners, all kind of stuff. So we're going to show you some of the ways that you can identify good eggs. Um, we're also going to show you how some of them are going to be in different stages uh, because we have two different types of bantams. Uh, we will be candling the onyx fire today. We're also going to be candling some cochin bantams and uh, we'll show you the difference between those two eggs, the activities inside the eggs, all the stuff that's going on. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll go in the house and show you guys um, what some of these eggs look like. We do have um on the calendar i think this is day eight you can candle on day seven uh, we started these things back in december 26 so it was just eight days ago and we'll show you how much um, things has progressed since then and uh, we'll tell you the days that you can candle because there is more than just the seven days that you go in and candle and uh, it won't be long we'll have baby chicks we get this video started um i like to thank a few friends or channels um these people have been inspiring to us behind the scenes of YT. We talk to them on a daily basis, uh, almost every one of them on a daily basis. And uh, their friendship's been invaluable. And uh, we sure have enjoyed being friends with them this past year. We hope it is ongoing and progresses in 2022. Thank you guys ever so much. We appreciate your friendship, and we'll do our best to see you in the future. Those channels would be Christ Family Homestead, The Arkansas Woodcutter, Boone Child, Jamie Slate Songs, or Jewel Small Gardening, uh, Three Creek Farm. All these people are some great friends that we interact with on a daily basis almost uh, all through the week behind the scenes of YT. And we sure do love being friends with them. So thank you guys for the support. So the first thing I want to point out is you do need the lights off. You don't need any special equipment. Just your cell phone flashlight will work. Um, or any flashlight, but we're going to use the cell phone and show you guys. You're just going to put the tip up there and we're going to show you this egg. Uh, we are doing this the same way they're in the incubator, which is upside down. And as you'll notice, that line Bobby just pointed out is what we call a ringer. Um, that's not a good sign. This is where the egg just started to form some blood vessels, but just didn't finish or quit. Also, there's no black mass at the top of the egg, which is something that we look for. Um, so obviously this egg is not a good Okay, so we'll take that egg out. We're going to leave it out and then we're going to grab another one and let's see what it looks like. Also, for those of you wondering, this light does not um, hurt anything on the inside of the egg, including the chick's eyesight. Now let me go ahead and still frame this one for you. This is a whole different effect on an egg. Uh, we'll show you this one. Now in this egg, if you'll notice, we don't have that line, what we called a ringer last time. It's not really distinct. We don't have any black mass at the top. Um, not much of an air bubble. No blood vessels forming. All we have is just one solid egg. A lot of people call those yokers. This egg wasn't even fertilized, so it does need to come out. So this is a bad egg. So now here is another type. Um, this one will fool you. As you can see, we do have the ring. That's not bad because you can also see some healthy blood vessels growing off of it, growing up to the top of the egg. You can also see a slight black mass 
However, we are expecting it to be just a little bit more than this. So we'll spin the egg around and see if we can show you the rest of what's going on inside here. Now I want to apologize for the flashes of light, but as we spin around the egg, uh, you can also see there's just a little bit of movement. Um, this egg is good, however, um, it's not staged up as far as we think it should be. But like I said before, these things do have stages, and um, some chicks are just like bloomers inside the egg. However, they all will hatch at the same time, and they'll catch up with each other. Now next up, we're going to show you what we call a fully staged egg. Some people call winners or keepers. Uh, you can actually see some movement inside the egg really good. Um, this dark spot here is actually the chick's eyeball. It's one of the first things that develop that you can see in the egg. And uh, if you guys can't tell, this is a perfectly good egg. Now we're going to candle a couple of more. I'm not going to let you guys see it much. Just do every one. However, we do do every egg in here. We want to show you guys some differences uh, i want to pick out a couple more tricky ones and show you that it's pretty easy to discard a good egg if you're not paying close attention now again here's a good egg uh, this one's ready to go fully staged you can see the eyeball you can also see the rest of the chick or embryo moving around in there lots of activity we know this is a good egg now we're going to go ahead and start with this one and uh, show you guys this is one of the tricky eggs that we did candle when you first look at it it does look like a ringer you don't see a lot of blood vessels or anything forming however when we spin the egg around you can see more development inside the egg you can't exactly find the eyeball but you can see something in there moving around this is just what we call a late bloomer or another late staged egg however it is a good egg and we're going to put it back because it'll incubate but upon first glance, you guys can tell that uh, it would be pretty easy to discard this egg. However, if you take your time, keep adjusting your light, uh, make sure you move it around. You can even flip the egg over and candle it from that way if you need to make sure 100%. But some eggs you do need to look at a lot more close. I want to thank everybody for watching this video and all the support on how to create your own chicken breed series. I'm pretty sure most of you guys know by now the Lala Farm won't be going live tonight. They're heavy busy. However, we do have Jewel Small Garden, and I believe Voon's coming up. So we have still a lot of great channels that's going to be doing some stuff tonight. So I hope you guys roll over and go check them out. There's not a lot that we can do right now. Uh, we're at a standstill until these chicks are born. It won't be long. Again, we just have a couple of days, and uh, we'll be able to start back up and, and uh, start giving you guys some more videos. So y'all roll over and check out some of these uh, great channels that have more content coming out tonight. And again, thank you for watching. And we'll do our best to see you on the